Question number 7b. Explain features and mechanisms that hinder self-pollination and self-fertilization. Uh, so one feature uh, is, uh, we can call it Roman number one, dichogamy. Uh, so this is a, a, a flowering system in which male and female reproductive organs mature dif at different times. Uh, so this is a, a flowering system in which male and female male and female reproductive organs mature at different times mature at different times within a single flower in a single flower or a cross or uh, multiple flowers so this prevents self uh, pollination or swatterization uh, it is also called It's also called pro tadri. Or proto protogamy. Uh, so Loma number two uh, we have what we call uh, what we call self sterilization. Self sterilization, or we can also call it uh, in incompatibility. Incompatibility. So for this one. Pollen grains cannot germinate on the stigma of the same uh, plant. So we say pollen grains cannot cannot germinate. It cannot germinate on the stigma of the same plant. So that also uh, he does or prevent self-pollination or fertilization. Uh, we have uh, num Roman number three. Roman number three, we can say hostesterity. So we say heterosterity. Uh, so this one uh, is a condition where the stigma is above the under uh, condition where stigma is above the under so this also prevent 
self-pollination. Part 4, we have what is called diuresis. Diuresis, uh, this is a plant that have reproduction part located separately on different on different plants or the same species of the same species so we say plant uh, these are plants uh, that have uh, reproduction the production parts located located separately separately on different plants of the same species Then we have number five, uh, monoecious. Uh, these are plants. I say these are plants plants that have uh, reproduction. parts located at different parts parts on the same plant So that's how you answer that question and uh, you should be able to get uh, two marks for the five points that you explained.